Hi, hello, what up guys, how you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome, welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. It is episode number 94. It's Monday, it's a brand new start to a brand new week. All I can do is wish you guys the best of luck for this week. Whatever your goals are, go ahead, go out there, absolutely smash them out the park. Good luck to you. Um, <clears throat> if you could do me a favor at the very start of the episode, smash the thumbs up. That'd be brilliant. Uh, 4,000 likes. That's exactly what we'd love to see. Come on. Let's get it. It's coming up to Christmas time now. You can start giving me daily Christmas presents of 4,000 likes. That's and, and all it takes is one like from you individually. And then just a load of you do that. Right, cool. Anyway, subscribe to the channel as well. And I thank you for 540,000 subs. Really cool to see. Uh, despite it being like somewhat slow growth this year, just in general across FIFA YouTube channels, um, that we are still growing. I, I love that from you guys. So thank you so much. Um, in today's episode, uh, as you can see here, listed up my uh, my investments. This would have made me like pretty good money, um, like 4K per card on a whole bunch of cards. Would have made me some decent money, but that was uh, that was initially when Vinicius came out, um, and what they did with Vinicius is make him a little bit more expensive than I thought they were going to make him. <clears throat> Essentially, meaning that a lot of people looked at that card and was like. Nah, I can't afford that. I'm not going to do that. So the price of players didn't go up. Uh, I then tweeted about it a little bit as well. And some of the people that obviously know the market a bit better than me, like some traders and stuff, were sort of suggesting that Vinicius Jr. really wasn't the sort of SBC that was going to push the market up. Um, but however, we should be getting an icon SBC in the next week. Well, obviously, we got that last night, didn't we? We got the base or mid icon SBC. I'm currently thinking that I'm not going to do it because I'm loving the thought of eventually when I can sell these cards, and I think they will start to sell um, for a little bit of a profit, not crazy profits, uh, but you know, two, three K per card would be quite nice. Uh, at least if we could get our money back, then uh, it wouldn't be a total loss, of course. Um, but it would be quite nice to have like the money that we have in our club after this week's weekend league rewards, plus that 500k plus that we invested. Like it would be nice to start building up a really good amount and start to maybe even afford the upper echelon type players. Would be good, right? Um, anyway, this I think was probably my most annoying game of the weekend league simply because I was already in a bit of a mood and uh, that happened. He got it back to tool and then dashboarded. Or got connect disconnected from the servers. I don't know which one it was. However, that sucked uh, a lot. Because uh, the first... I mean, we're 5-5 five and five in the weekend league. And then the first couple of games just really, really did not quite go the way I was hoping or expecting. Um, so what you're going to see is I think after the first couple, we are end up, we're going to end up being like 5-8. and eight, Which... And then obviously that game which just didn't count right there. Which we were drawing, but I think we probably would have won. It's easy to say that, right? Um, anyway, <clears throat> we we end up going 2-0 down here. Mane beats me at the back post. Ah, I don't feel like he's known for his aerial ability. But did I deserve to be losing? Absolutely, freaking lootly I did. Yeah, so uh, this, 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 this right here was... After losing a few games to get myself to 5-5, five and five, I did take a break. I did stop. I edited that video that went up yesterday. Um, <clears throat> one. I, we got one lazy buyer, ladies and gentlemen, when I tried to list my players at their highest. Um, we got a 19k for one Cancelo, which was a dub considering we bought him for like, I don't know, 13 or something like that. I can't remember what we paid for him, but we did get... Um, a little bit of profit from that one player. One lazy buyer who was doing the Vinicius SBC, I guess, uh, ended up buying that one. But as you can see here, I was just getting battered, like going 1-0, then 2-0 down pretty much every game, and I was quitting. So at that point, I thought, okay, I really do need to stop. I really do need to have my dinner, chill, and then come back to it, all right? Um, so that's exactly what I did. Uh, scenes as this was... Friday night. I, I got all of my games done on Friday this week because as I mentioned to you guys the other day, I went all the way up north to Wigan and uh, to watch a football match and back in the same day on Saturday. So Saturday was a complete and utter total loss. Like I couldn't I couldn't work at, at all, do any FIFA stuff. Um, and then Sunday was just playing catch up with editing and more recording and stuff like that. So yes, I did spend an 82 rated squad on the Real Madrid Classic kit. 
Am I an idiot for doing that? Yeah, probably. But I do like it. It means something to me. Like the old school Real Madrid kit. Oh, love it. So, uh, yeah, anyway. Five and eight. After a break, after resetting myself, having some dinner, doing a new kit SBC, I go into my first game and this guy gifts me the win. And I am just like, this is it. This is the session where we're going to get those extra three wins that we need. And then we're going to have our eight wins. I can give the rest of the wins away. And we can open up our packs. And the new promo, the versus promo was out. So, of course, there's potential that we could, you know, maybe even pack a really good player. That would be sick. Um, game number two here, as you can see, nice squad. Player of the month, Salah, Ginola again. Like You see those players quite often. Uh, and this wasn't just a, a complete gift game. This was one that we're going to completely play out. Uh, Messi into Pele. Pele, good goal. Did I mention I packed Pele? I, th I think I might have done it. Some of you might have known that. Um, I think it's quite, quite well known now on the channel. <laughs> anyway, that man again. <clears throat> His shot is ridiculous. It really is good. Uh... Like I said to you, I'm kind of on the fence of like, no, I'm not going to do this icon pack. I know that normally means, yes, I will probably end up doing it and I might still end up doing it. Um, <clears throat> but at the moment, I just think it can't go that well again. I'm, I'm just thinking to myself, there's absolutely no way, right? Either we get someone tragic or it gives me base Pele again and I have a duplicate untradeable. That's that's all I can really see happening. Uh, so <laughs> we get like mid Pele and everyone goes absolutely bonkers at me. So yeah, I don't, I just don't see it happening. Um, however, sometimes we do full send it for the content. It's going to be based on like rewards and how many coins I've got, how much profit I make, how much, all of that stuff. That's what's going to make me decide whether or not this icon pack is worth it. How the fodder rises on the market, you know, what this icon pack settles at. What other SBCs come out, because for the price of an icon pack, that's sort of probably like half of Vinicius Jr. Like, we, you know, and I've kind of moved away from the thought of getting him just because he's quite expensive and I don't want to spend all my coins on that. I don't know. Anyway, I lost that game against Salah and Ginola. It was basically those two players, which screwed me again. Um... And then this guy gives me a win. And I'm like, oh my, oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's two, two out of the three games we've played this evening since I took my little break. People gave me the win. I obviously, you know, do send a message to those that are kind enough to, when they've finished their games, not to just pause and quit or act like they're going to give you the goal and then kick it over the bar or wide of the post or whatever and then quit. Um... You know, the, the game is set up this year in a way that if you lose and you quit, you get one point anyway. And we all need to do that in order to eventually hit uh, hit the levels that we want that we want to hit. Whether that's 8 wins, 12 wins, 16 wins, 4 wins, 0 wins, whatever. But um, it goes a long way for people that have been stressing themselves out all weekend if you could just score the own goal. That's all I'll say. I just think it, it makes people a lot happier. And, the you know, if you do just pause and quit, it may save you a couple of minutes or you may argue that people never do it for you. But the more you do it, the more other people might actually think, you know what? I got gifted a couple of wins this week. I'm going to be nice to other people as well. Spend just a couple of extra minutes doing that as well. It's just just a karma thing. Just, you know, try. Try to be a, the bigger person in that situation. Uh, even if you've had four or five people quit against you uh, and not give you the win. If you've got what you need, just, you know, just, just give it to them. It's all right. Anyway, red player picks. Because team of the week was awful and I was in a terrible mood. No live lasty today. Sorry. Um, but we got red hendo. I mean, I guess that's probably one of the best team of the weeks that you can get. I think there's obviously Bernardo Silva. Um, red pick number two was nothing special. It was 84 rated Griffo, which I guess is all right. But uh, yeah, again, it's just fodder uh, really at the end of the day. Uh, but Hendo and Griffo, I, I guess to be fair, I'll take it. <clears throat> I've actually got a mate called Griffo who's a Liverpool fan. So to see Henderson next to Griffo, it's just like a, that works. That works for me. Anyway, in the inform pack, we don't get a proper full on... You know, 84 plus walkout, whatever it may be. Uh, I get Alex Moreno and then a couple of others. Uh, this guy wasn't completely discard. So, yeah, sold him for 11k, I think. <laughs> a little bit more than discard, right? Why not? Uh, and then I discard the other two. 
just for the Insta coins. We're over 100k now with that 500 plus k invested. That's nice. And then from the 100k pack, proper walkout, Belgium, centre mid from Man City. Hey, we love to see a Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, and yeah, hey, that's tradable as well. So I was like, hey, that's, that's like 300k. And then I realised we're in FIFA 22 and it's probably like 12k. Uh, but we meet somewhere in the middle there. He's actually about 50,000 coins, which I was... I'll absolutely take that. I really will take that because you get 30k coins from the three in, the three informs. I've got 30k coins from rank three itself, so that's 60k plus KDB at 50k minus a little bit of tax. We made over a hundred thousand coins from our weekend league, which I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be angry at that. In all honesty, knowing what how much things cost on this FIFA, making a hundred k like that is. Not too bad. I'll, I'll, I'll certainly take it. Uh, so as you can see, we've still got loads of um, loads of investments there that I just haven't that didn't sell. Uh, so I was a little bit frustrated. But now with the Icon SBC and just reducing their price a, a slight bit, so we wouldn't make as much profit. But um, actually, you know, making a little bit of profit on each card. I think they will sell. I think in the next couple of days, whenever I get caught back up again with my videos, uh, you'll notice that they will sell. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll have a little look on the market right now because I know that I'm listing them right now. 10 things have sold. Oh, even more than that. I think like 12 things have sold. 13. 13 cards have sold right now. Uh, so... You'll see in the next couple of episodes how many coins we're up to uh, and which of those players were selling more than others. Um, I think it's clear, well, to me it's clear, I know that you just see the goals when I show you the highlights, but it's clear to me that uh, for this team this week, Gelson Martins, Gelson Martins, however you like to pronounce his name, wasn't it. And also Fafana wasn't it. Um... Defence, I have no problems with. Testagan, I think I, I will come out and say is the best keeper I've used on this game this year. I I kind of thought that when I used him last time, uh, and I, I, I really do rate him as like the best keeper. So I, there's potential that I might even upgrade him to his cool Adidas card, you know, the nice orange-looking card. I might do that if he's not too expensive. Um, but yeah, like, he's the best keeper I've used. I love PK, love Sula. They're both very solid, and no problems with Mendy or Alfonso Davies. Uh, we could potentially go with something like that. I really want to get Neres in. Like, he's just so good as a super sub that I think he's just he needs to be on the pitch more. Um, so I'm thinking we could potentially do this. Uh, as you can see, the four attackers would be... Neres, Messi, Pele, Benzema. Um, so that would work really nicely and just take off Yari Litmanen for a slightly more defensive midfielder. You know, you could bring on Fellaini right at the start or whoever it may be. Or we could do something like this where Tagliafico on 7 chem becomes a new player in the squad. Uh, if we unlock that objective and you get one, you get to choose between fire and ice. Not sure which one I'd choose, but the potential to play... Uh, Tagliafico as a CDM, maybe we could we could definitely do that uh, if we got the one with the dribbling stats. Or of course, you could actually move Tagliafico to left back, put Mendy at right back because the five star weak foot, and then actually play Alfonso Davies as the the other DM. And we know that that would work because Alfonso Davies works literally everywhere with that crazy card that he's got. So that could be a potential as well. But if I was to play. Tagliafico at left back, I think maybe we'd take the other version with the height and defensive stats. Maybe. What one? Actually, Tagliafico's cards, which one would you choose? Let me know down below. Um, other than that, it's going to be it for today's video. Uh, I do hope you have enjoyed. I thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, if you could do me that little favor and smash the thumbs up button, it would be a, it's, it's like a priceless thing that you can do for me. I can't put cost on it. But I'd love to see it. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Um, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram. Both of those links are down below. Come and follow me on social media. See what I'm getting up to. Uh, and yeah, like I guess I'll just be back again tomorrow. We'll we'll figure out the team. We'll make a few changes. We'll see if we you know play a few games. See what we can make work and whatnot. And uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone. Take it easy. Peace. <laughs>